By turning on the clock button of the No Control, we can run through the eight steps automatically at whatever speed we choose. If we turn up the strength control and the knobs of the strength channel, we can use the dynamic gate and envelope outputs. They are always synchronized to the internal clock via the speed and time controls, so that they are always an appropriate length relative to the clock. still interrupt by hand as long as interrupt is on. Alternatively, we can patch a clock from somewhere else to the clock input. Clocking the zero control externally allows us to keep it in perfect time with things happening in, for example, a complex modular synth patch. But for now, let's clock it using the no-cos clock output. The important thing to realize here is that the length of the dynamic envelope and gate outputs is still based on the speed and time controls, even when the no control is being clocked externally. This will allow us to create envelopes and gates of lengths that are not necessarily related to the tempo. For example, if I turn speed up, we can hear the envelopes getting shorter. If I turn it down, we can hear them getting longer. The time control lets us control the envelope length per step when the time attenuator is open. We can take advantage of this behavior to create staccato notes and ties.